Hey guys, what's up? I'm up here at the storage unit, getting it all cleared out, trying to save that $80 a month. You know what I mean. And I've been wanting to make a video for a long time. Been wanting to sit down and outline a video and have like certain talking points so it'd be streamlined. But I was just out here and was kind of just brought to tears for a number of things. But this is my dad's old stuff that um, really kind of just brought back some emotions and like um, things I didn't realize I necessarily <clears throat> had still. Um, and so while I was out here, <laughs> I'm kind of in a safe place as far as like being able to talk and um, I'm off in my own little unit. Um, so. I just wanted to kind of sit down and talk about what I was going to talk about. Um, it was just kind of encouraging to like go through those feelings and um, I need to take a break. It's freaking hot out here. So that was another <laughs> uh, big factor to it as well. But we're almost done cleaning this thing out and I was mowing the grass last week and I was listening to a bunch of different things and one of the things that I... <clears throat> oh my gosh, I didn't mean for all this to happen, but I'm just going for it. Something just told me to just like, this is like, you're in, you're in a little spot right here. You can just do this. You're feeling yourself. So turn the camera on and like have some church, you know, preach. Um, not to y'all, but like no, just get these thoughts out of my head. So uh, if it benefits anybody listening, then that's even better. But um, golly. I wanted to, I wanted to talk about several things, but um, uh, one of the things, and I wanted to even go back and like screenshot. God, this is all junked. Um, go back and screenshot some comments and stuff, and um, answer some questions about like, um, were you scared to stop drinking? Um, uh, if y'all you, don't know, my dad was an alcoholic. His dad was an alcoholic, and went to a bunch of AA meetings. I think he, you know, had the AA hand Bible handbook on his uh, chest in his casket type recovery. Um, and here I am with social media. So I'm able to kind of like just blurt stuff out when I feel like it. Um, so it, it was scary at first. And it was one of those things kind of like what I'm doing now is, you know, just kind of eating your pride and your ego because I'm a grown ass man. I can drink what I want or I can say what I want and do what I want. Um, kind of had to go to the wayside. And I really think having kids was a, um, big factor. But I started thinking about this metaphor or this concept that I heard. I think Mel Robbins talks about it in her book um, about like, you know, being afraid of something, but also being brave enough to push forward. Um, I don't think I've said anything since the last time I was on here that uh, it's been over a year now with no alcohol and um, it's just been freaking amazing. It's, I feel like a, <laughs> I feel like a freaking mess right now is what I feel like. This is, uh, golly, this Southern heat and, um, inner child stuff don't mix man <clears throat> um so yeah i said i said <laughs> i said inner child stuff too on top of addiction just like figuring yourself out and then when you have kids you like really see what you are and um she talks about how she was teaching her son how to drive and the first time she did it, she had a mentor or a friend or something in the back seat with her. 
and they get in the front seat and she's over in the passenger side and she said all right go put it in drive and he was you know he was like what do i do and she said put it in drive and go and then the girl from the back chimed in and said hold up mill um first whatever the son's name was put your foot on the brake then put it in drive and then go because she skipped the whole part about um you know when you if you were to just put the car in drive it start moving forward so it's kind of breaking it down in a step-by-step -step process as far as like being scared of stopping or quitting or moving forward with um life <laughs> um it, it was you know once you have your foot on the brake and you're ready to go you kind of ease off you don't just boom, or else your car would shoot forward you know you ease off the brake then give it a little gas and um then from there it's like merging into traffic and like navigating through the different uh maps and streets of life so um i just thought it was a cool metaphor about you know it's it's okay okay to be scared because i remember you know as y'all do y'all are probably nervous as hell also as excited also excited as hell to drive your first time um but once you figured it out you know you were like hell yeah I'm, i can take these roads on and you're you know all about it so um taking your foot off the brake a little bit and moving forward and not being afraid of the change that needs to happen if you're on this video and i saw several people in the last video saying you know i've been thinking about this for months and if you're thinking about it then you're on the right track it's just taking your foot off the pedal man or off the brake and giving it a little gas on the other side and seeing uh what the what the life is like because it's it's freaking amazing it's it's been awesome um i don't really know where else i was going with this other than to just turn the freaking camera on and get some of this out and get a good i was already having a good cry and whew, me and katie were like sending selfies back uh, <laughs> yeah because she was crying about some stuff too and um it's just we're in a, an emotional mess right now Whew. getting over i mean and it's good it's good it's like healthy emotions you know it's like this is this is what we need um to you know let out an experience and um like i said help anybody we can in the process if they're experiencing something similar or have or uh, might soon <laughs> the foreshadowing this is this is what's about to happen to you you're about to be sitting in a storage unit somewhere with your uh, dad's old <laughs> memorabilia <laughs> crying your eyes out um and talking about addiction and uh, getting over that so i i just wanted to you know talk about taking your foot off the brake not being scared of everything and understanding that just having a small change in something creates a bigger change in everything so if you think about it in that way we were in church a couple weeks ago and the pastor gave a great analogy and i'm sure you've heard of it if you're from his generation he's not even that much older than me but um he told a story i think about it may be a personal story i don't know it may be a pastor the original but um he told a story about how the cows were supposed to be in the pasture and the thing that his dad said for him to make sure he did was leave that one little gate in the very back open i mean closed if it was open uh make sure it was shut before he left the house to do anything yes sir yes sir i'll do it he had about 50 to 100 cows or something that they raised and they were all pets and stuff and um it started raining one day or something and he had left the gate cracked just a little bit well the wind caught it blew it open and then the next morning they came out all the cows are gone or they got a couple of call, phone calls from the neighbors or something like that he just sat back and he's like no this this is impossible there's no way that many cows got through that one little hole and created that much mess in the whole world in the whole neighborhood and it was just a great analogy about one little change can create a whole lot of change in a good way or a bad way and you know or don't be the or i mean be the gate to the change the the small gate to the change in a good way and you know it's just one of those cool ways to think about how um you can change and 
as I just was kind of showing is like I've changed a lot y'all all seen me cry on here before I'm a little baby I've got three sisters and um I'm a freaking mama's boy and <laughs> uh, as much as you know I'm, I'm a freaking family man love my dad and um um yeah so I'm just a dude with uh problems that I'm going through, you know, that I've been through, and I uh, feel like I'm stronger because of it, so it's okay to change, and it's okay to be that small change to something that could be a greater change that's for the better. Um, they got the cows back, everything was good, they wrangled them all back in, and he watched them all single file go back through there, and he was sitting there, and he going, you know, this is just impossible, so there's got to be another fence down somewhere, and then as he watched, the uh, dad had to come running back into town and get them all corralled back in there. And uh, he's watching them. And he's like, well, I will be doggone. Like, they really can get out through that little gate. That many cows. He, he watched it with his own eyes this time. So um, it was just a, a good message there. So if you're thinking about it, don't be afraid of the change. It's going to be for the better, if anything. And um you know, you're going to be stronger for it as well. Um, I don't recommend acting strong and like trying to lift shit like that up on the back of the car by yourself because now my shoulders hurt and um, that's really why I was crying. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I done, I done acted the fool on here too much now in this special unit ops course back here. Um, I'm over and out and um, yeah. Uh, and that's that's all I got to say for now. I, I want to make more more elaborated stuff. I got some more to talk about on um, what all I've done to stay away from the alcohol. The you know the way that my wife yeah, it has Katie has seriously on top of the kids been the reason I am who I am today and the change changes that I've made because if it was it's usually if it was anybody else I think about like you know some of the past girls that I've dated and stuff shout out if you're listening y'all were some trash <laughs> and I wouldn't have done any of this you know what I'm saying um so I married the perfect girl to trust herself and be able to create herself and um, be a strong, independent, you know, I was about to say something raunchy and, um, get shit done and, and emulate what it's supposed to be like, you know? So <laughs> I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Peace.